Hello, welcome to English class. Good morning or good afternoon. Let's start. Okay, so let's talk about the age timeline. Okay, the age timeline is a unit product of this month. Okay, so today we're gonna start making the first steps. Okay, vamos a comenzar con los primeros steps. Okay, todavía no es que tengas que hacer tu proyecto. Este es los inicios, ¿ok? So, it's in your notebook. Ok, so, let's go. What is a, what is an age timeline, guys? An age timeline, ok, is a chronological line of events, ok? And describes how you look, your appearance, your physical appearance, and in this case, what you could or you or couldn't do in different ages, ok? So, it must be chronological, ok? Tiene que ser chronological, like in the video, right? First, when he was a kid, then a teenager, then an adult, then an old person, ok? Claro que nosotros no vamos a llegar hasta old person, right? Ok, so let's plan our age timeline. Let's plan our age timeline. Okay. So, step number one. Okay. You are going to choose, you are going to choose four ages that you would like to describe. Okay. In your timeline. Okay. That you would like to describe. This is an example. This is an example. No quiere decir que tú tienes que elegir the same ages. <coughs> okay. So, for example, you can choose... When you were a baby and you have one year. When you were a toddler and you have four years. When you were a kid, well, todavía eres kid, pero tal vez cuando tenía seven or eight years. And now, now the last square, the last um, chart is your, is the present, okay? So, for example, if right now tú no tienes 10 years, si no tienes 11 years, pues aquí vas a escribir 11 years. Si tú no tienes 11 years, pero tienes 30 years, que yo espero que no, <laughs> you're going to write here 30 years, ¿ok? So, these are examples, ¿ok? Tal vez the baby no quieres hablar de cuando tenías 1 year, sino de cuando tenías 5 months. It's ok. Tal vez de toddler no quieres hablar de cuando tenías 4 years, sino de cuando tenías 5 years. It's also okay. So you can change. You can change the years, okay? But you must, you must choose 4 ages. Okay, step number 2, guys. When you have your ages, cuando ya te hayas decidido por your ages, you're going to describe your physical appearance, and your personality for each age, okay? You're going to describe your physical appearance when you were a baby. You're going to describe your fi your physical appearance when you were a toddler. When you're going to describe your physical appearance and personality when you were a kid and your physical appearance and personality right now. Te dejo these examples, okay? For example, with baby, I was small and chubby and very wimpy. Okay, that's a, recuerdo, tiene physical description y un poquito de personality. Okay, toddler, I was thin, had blonde curly hair, I get angry very easily. Okay, again, tiene physical description and personality. Fíjate que yo no escribí eh, demasiada información para cada age. Okay. Ese es el step number two, pero nos faltan otros steps para continuar con el proyecto, ¿ok? So, this information, this um, amount of information is ok, ¿ok? Este tamaño de información is ok. One paragraph for each age, ¿ok? Alright, guys. So, that's the only thing that we're going to do today. You can see more examples, ok, on your activity book, page 74. Ahí vienen more examples and more descriptions. Ok. And that's it for today, guys. See you later.
alligators。